Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Blanche Memorial Soccer Complex here in Temecula, California. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We have a boys under nine match featuring the Patiadores Blue going up the going up against the PCSC squad. And the game just starting. Patiador is there with the white jerseys. So they'll be easy to spot here as they move from right to left. Blue squad, PCSC. We'll get you the rosters for each of these teams here. Again, we got two 25-minute halves, just like all the other BU9 matches here this weekend in Temecula. We're at field number 29, 12 o'clock start. Actually getting started about seven minutes early. And it's the blue squad, PCSC here. Putting the ball in on the near side. Use your head, Matt. Use your head on, Matt. Get in front of him, Matt. Thanks. Ball comes across midfield. Patty Adore is trying to center the ball there. Number 11, Kyle Gaines. And Kyle's pass is going to be deflected over to the far side by the blue team as they take it up across midfield and go soaring back the other way. Number two on the far side, Sam Kitai. He'll put the ball on a play just below midfield. And as the action continues here, it's PCSC centering, and now they bring it here to the near sideline. Kendrick, number 15 for the patio doors. Kendrick Wynn doing a nice job of getting to the ball there. Now he trails. And Patty Doors clear it down the field, right down the middle. Giving chase there for Patty Doors, number 11. Kyle Gaines. Gaines is going to be pushed from behind. We get the penalty there going against PCSC. And here on the near side, the Patty Doors will have the kick in a good position there. The keeper for PCSC, David Garcia. Looks on now, everybody in front of the net. Now we're set here, ready for the signal. There it comes, free kick. Header cleared away by PCSC. Number 11 gains with the kick here. He was the one who was pushed there on that last play, on that penalty. And the ball rolls out over on that far side across the back line. So we've got a goal kick now for the blue team as they move here. Starting to warm up. Sun just above us. A little bit of a breeze moving across the field from the near side, or from the far side here to the near side. Number 10 now, Jesus De Dios trying to move up towards midfield. Patty Doris keep it here on this half of the field, though. And just as they make their way towards the net, the ball's going to be whistled dead there for a penalty against the white squad. May have been off sides, I believe. So the ball goes back to PCSC. And just as it goes across midfield, the Patty Doris again bring it across. Now right down the middle. Giving chase here on the near side, number six, Matt Brennan, but he won't get there before it goes out. And last touch by the blue team, so the Patty Doras. Blue squad will put the ball into play. And in blue, the Pacific Coast Soccer Club bringing it up towards midfield here. Patty Doras, Matt Wynn. Kendrick Wynn here, number 15 on the near side. Stepping on the ball there, number seven, Daniel Vlessing. And that allows the Patty Adoras to get to the ball. Collision right here on the near side, no whistle. And a battle here between number six for the Patty Adoras, Matt Brennan, and number nine, Matthew Gooden of the Pacific Coast Soccer Club. The ball goes out here on the near side. And will belong to the white team. So the Patty Doors will put the ball into play. Nice. 
And on the throw on Matt Brennan will be whistled there. Referee said he didn't come all the way over top. And the Pacific Coast Soccer Club here on the near side in blue. We have no score first half here, just about six minutes or so in. Been a pretty easy game so far. Each of these teams just really trying to get a feel for each other right now. Short passing game using some nice footwork. And bringing it up across midfield now. Pacific Coast Soccer Club number six right down the middle. Christian Paul Mares. So Palomares over into the backfield, but he's going to be stopped. And the defense for the Patiadoras bringing it across midfield again, and it goes out. Still belongs to the white team. And so as the ball goes out on the far side again, the Patiadoras inching their way up towards the net. Nice throw in as it rolls. It's centered. Brennan gets there. Still keeping control of the ball for the patio doors as he moves here to the near side. Nice block there as Pacific Coast was trying to bring it up across midfield, but just couldn't get there in time, and it does go off of Brennan. Nice job defensively, number 12 for the patio doors, Zach Espinola here on the near side, and Kendrick Wynn. Puts it into play. Nice header by Brennan over to his teammate, number 11, Kyle Gaines. And he's got a nice header as well. He went into the circle, but then was cleared out. And the Patty Adore is moving the ball over on the far sideline. Ball stopped there, number six for the blue team, Pacific Coast, Christian Palmares. And that penalty goes against the Patty Adore's blue squad. As the play continues, we're right here at midfield. Again in the circle. And as we move here to the near side, Patty Doris, number six, Matt Brennan, fires the ball upfield, a collision here. And that penalty definitely go against number four for Pacific Coast, Tyler Graham. Graham doesn't agree with the referee, but definitely took the legs out from underneath. And now number four, John Latona. Will take the kick. He's got a nice angle here on the near side to the net. Team out in front, just about 10 yards in front of the net. His kick will go to the net and stop there by the keeper, David Garcia. Garcia had it, dropped it, but recovered it quickly. And Patty Adores again will have the ball deep into the backfield of Pacific Coast. That ball cleared out, goes across the back line, and that will be a corner kick for Patty Adores. It's the ball in the corner. And instead of going in the net, they just bring it out here to win on the near side. Now he moves, nice kick, centered in the middle. They've got three white jerseys there, cleared out by Pacific Coast. That shot to the net goes right into Garcia again. But the Patiadoras getting their shots on goal, keeping that defense on standby there for Pacific Coast. Ball out on that far side. and. Again, it belongs to the white team, the Patty Adores squad. Ball at midfield. Now they're going to move it here to the near side. Win number 15, stops momentarily, looks upfield, finds a man, number six, Brennan. But a defender steps to the way, clears it back over to the right half of the field and finally goes out of bounds here. And they're going to say there was a penalty on Pacific Coast before it went out, so a free kick here near the sideline. I don't believe it was an offsides. So we may have had a push. That ball is going to be sent right down the near sideline into the backfield of Pacific Coast. And finally kicked out. And again, it will belong to the white team, Matt Brennan, number six. Brennan 
puts it into play. Number 12, Zach Espinola there. Over to Kendrick Wynn. Kendrick kicks the ball upfield into the box there. Brennan coming over to help out. And Espinola chases it out. Last touch by the blue team. Brennan near the back line. He's going to run out of real estate there. And that will be a goal kick for Pacific Coast. Substitutions now in for the Patty Adores. Number 11 is out. Kyle Gaines. Down the middle, Brennan. Now he goes to the far side. His teammate, eight, Oscar Palma. Palma takes a shot to the net, and it's going to be just wide. So Oscar taking advantage there as he saw an opening, but his shot just wide. Garcia, the keeper, runs it down. For the Patiadores, get you their roster here. The blue team, boys under nine, head coach Mike Rubio, and the team administrator, Jill Espinola. Number two is Luis Veras. Number three, Noah Dunn. Number four is John Latona. Number six, Matt Brennan. The keeper, number seven, is Brett Bill. Number eight, Oscar Palma. Saw Oscar take that shot to the net high in the air. Garcia backs up. He's got it. Number nine, Zach Burns. Number 10, Actually, not here today, Mike Affleck. Number 11, Kyle Gaines. Number 12, Zach Espinola. Number 14, Alex Salmaron. And number 15, Kendrick Wynn. So there's your roster for the Patio Doors. Wynn here, number 15. Pretty quick as he motors up and down this near sideline. Wynn puts it into play here on the near side. Number 12, Zach Espinola, his teammate. Ball's going to roll right across the front of the net and finally pounced on by Brett Bill, the keeper. Brett, nice strong leg on a bounce across midfield. Ball still in the circle. Seven right down the middle of the field for Pacific Coast. Daniel Blessing. Blessing will lose it. Patty Doors now on the attack. Oscar, number eight here on the near side. A collision, no call by the referee. Play on. Ball is out across the back line. Last touch by White, so it will be a goal kick. So Patty Adore is there on that last exchange. They wanted to get out and run. Oscar again over on that far side. His shot is blocked. Oscar Palma, number eight. And across midfield. Number six for Pacific Coast. Christian Palomares. Palomares using that sideline to gain a lot of distance. And that ball cleared out again by Patty Adores, just trying to stop the momentum of Pacific Coast. They didn't want him to get any further. and They didn't have the manpower out in front of the net, so they just needed to push it out and allow their defense to get into position. And number two for Pacific Coast, Sam Kitai. We'll put the ball into play from the near, near that far corner. It's a couple of yards away. Kitai saves it from going out. Passes it towards the middle to his teammate Jesus De Dios, number 10. Ball bouncing a few times. Finally, win. Takes care of things, decides to take the shot himself. Now Oscar Palma again. Kitai was a man to beat. And Kitai able to slide and knock that ball away just at the last second. Oscar was about ready to make a move. And the keeper, David Garcia, will haul it in. Nice job right here, Alex Salmaron. Number 14. Gets back to the ball, takes it away, runs into some trouble, spins away from Henry Kilici, number eight. Win with a nice header going back into the towards that back line near the net of PC Civic Coast Soccer Club. Coming out of nowhere from behind, number two for the Patiadores, Luis Veras. Veras showing some speed as he saves that ball right there. Allows his defense to get back. Now they've got some numbers to work with. That ball is going to be deflected here to the near sideline. And Brett Bill, the keeper, will pounce on it. 
Kick on the ground, deep into the backfield. Now finally pushed out by number four, Tyler Graham. And here on the near side, Alex Salmarone. We'll have it, he'll put it into play. Espinola, number 12. Ball right here at midfield, number three now. Noah Dunn for the patio doors, getting in on some action there. Ball again at midfield, number 10. Jesus De Dios over to the far side now. And Pacific Coast now trying to weave their way through that Patty Doris defense. But number six got in just a little bit too deep. Christian Palomares, he didn't have any help. The ball finally taken away from him. It does go out though off the white squad. And Kitai puts it into play. Brennan there, number six, battling with Graham. Tyler Graham of Pacific Coast. Matthew Gooden moves into the middle. Now he's in the circle. Pass that comes here to the near side and will go out. And substitutions for Patty Adores. Matt Brennan comes out. And in the game comes number 11 again. Kyle Gaines. So Kyle with a brief rest. He's back in now. We've got no score. We're here in the first half. The wind's starting to pick up just a little bit. Ball in the circle now moves here to the right half of the field, number six. Christian Palomares. He'll have the ball take it away. Petty Adores come up with it. They bring it across midfield, but the white jersey step in the lane. Now sending it downfield, number nine, Zach Burns. And Zach Burns' kick goes all the way to the keeper, Garcia. But we had an offside because of that kick, and so the free kick here in just outside the circle there for Pacific Coast. And you can see now the pace of this game. Everything's starting to open up, getting a little bit quicker. The passes are a lot longer. Both these teams trying to use all parts of the field here. And that penalty goes against number 12, Espinola there of the Patiadores. So free kick, getting things going for the blue team as they come in deep. Defense finally clears it away though. Now across midfield, here comes number 14, Alex Salmaron. Alex is going to be tripped up from behind, have the ball taken away. Play keeps on. Zach Burns. Noah Dunn, number three there. Zach, number nine, trailing that one right in front of his keeper. Kick comes up on a bounce across midfield now. Gooden, number nine. And he's chased by Gaines. Gaines coming around him, gaining position. He takes the ball away. He's going to take a spill. Falls on his side. No whistle. Gets right back up. Keeps going. Now to move downfield. Number eight, Oscar Palma. Palma on the far side. He wanted to take a shot on goal, but he had two blue jerseys between him and the keeper there. And the ball was deflected out. Off blue, so we will have a corner kick, and Oscar Palma will take the kick, number eight. From that far side, we played 19 minutes here this first half, so just about six minutes to go. We don't have any score. Quickly, Pacific Coast coming down the field, number 10, Jesus De Dios. Now he's gonna be stopped, providing some defense. Number four, John Latona. Latona there with the headband, keeps him out. Dios has to come back over to the far sideline. Now he looks for an opening, passes it into the center. Shot on goal is going to be deflected by the defense into the hands of Brett Bill, the keeper. That was number six taking the shot there. Christian Palomares. Patty Dorr is not having too much trouble getting into the backfield there of the blue team. Trip there, Oscar Palma taking a spill inside the box. No call by the referee. Keep playing on. And finally the ball will land out on the far side. 
And Patty Dory's number nine, Zach Burns. Nice throw in across midfield. And let's see, did that ball go off of Kitai? They said it did. Gaines there, number 11. Kitai again on the header. This time it goes out. Patty Adore is keeping the ball near that far sideline. I think they want to get Oscar Palma out and running right there. That's where he's kind of hanging out. And that ball going out across the back line. So a goal kick for Pacific Coast, the keeper. David Garcia. Six now coming across. Again, that's Palomares. Actually, both teams really working well in the middle of the field and about 30 yards in, but then they get near that net and the defense is just smother them. They're not having much luck. Espinola here to the near side, number 11. Number 14, Alex Salmaron. Alex stops, sizes up the defender, changes directions, tries to get it through his legs. He does, manages with the left leg to get a kick up to Palma near the net. There's a shot high into there. Oh, it hits that top bar. Another shot. Gaines, number 11 on the far side, and Garcia makes a nice diving catch. So Pacific Coast, defense doing a great job as they dodge a huge bullet right there. Patty Adores nearly putting one on the board, but they're sent away, and quickly they get it right back into the backfield of Pacific Coast. Espinola right down the middle, getting it closer to the net. Can he get back to the ball? He does, stops it. Wants to go right through the defender, but Gooden was there, deflects it back. Espinola, number 12. There he is, Zach Espinola. Got hurt on that play, gets right back up. Now from behind, Salmaron, number 14. De Dios, number 10. Watches that ball go right by him in the circle. And now it's a foot race here on the near side, taking a shot on goal, deflected away by the keeper, and he does manage to haul it in. Number seven here on the near side, Daniel Vlessing with the shot for Pacific Coast. Number 14, Alex Salmarone here on the near side. Let's see, was that off of the Pacific Coast player number eight? It was Henry Kilici. Blessing number seven upfield. Number four handles it with that headband, John Latona. Cross midfield. Nice job there, Gaines. Here to Salmaron, number 14. Center pass to Gaines coming right down to the middle. His shot on goal just a little bit wide, number 11. If that was the NBA, you'd call it the old give and go right there. Ball right there, Gaines again. Again, this combo, Salmarone and Gaines trying to get the offense going for the Patty Adora squad. As they're trying to pull the keeper out of position as they want Garcia to come out here on the near side. Fire it in the middle and have Gaines take a shot. And number six coming in now for Patty Adora's, Matt Brennan. Oscar Palma will sit down and take a breather. Just about a minute, maybe two, left here in this first half, unofficially, but that's what I've got. We're pretty close there when we take a guess. Kicker Garcia says it just below midfield. Patty Adore is right here battling for the ball. Don't allow Pacific Coast to bring it across midfield. Gooden now, he's gonna lose it, number nine. Matt Brennan, number six for the Patty Adore's team, helping keep that ball here on this half of the field. And as Garcia handles that ball, he'll boot it up towards midfield. Salmarone. Gains number 11. He's going to fall down. And the ball is out, and it's a goal kick for 
Pacific Coast. Actually, it is a corner, so it went off of Pacific Coast. Alex Salmarone centers the ball, cleared away by the defense, and a quick whistle. That penalty against Patty Adores. So that was a corner. First thought, referee had pointed one way, looked like a goal kick, but changed their mind. That's the ball. There's the whistle signaling the end of a scoreless first half between these two boys under nine squads of Patty Adores and the Pacific Coast Soccer Club. So it should be an exciting second half. It's going to go down to the wire. I'm Ken Gonzalez from George Langevin Productions. We'll take this quick halftime break and be back with the second half in just a minute. Kenyon's Oscar George Landsman Productions. We're back for the start of the second half of this Boys Under Nine match featuring the Patiadores Blue Squad winning up the Pacific Coast Soccer Club. We had a scoreless first half, and we may see a lot of the same here in the second. These two teams really playing a great game, going at each other, and the Patiadores now defense has to get back. Good and shot deflected by the keeper. Brett Bill, what a stop right there as Gooden went right at him. And that ball goes out across the back line, so it'll be a corner kick. Gooden will take it. Here comes his kick. It's on the ground near the back line. And that's going to be an easy one right there for Brett Bill, the keeper. And Brett with a nice kick comes up across midfield. Nearly a handball right there. Looked like one. No call by the referee. Ball in the circle. Petty doors now want to move to the right. Number 14. Alex Salmaron. We saw a lot of Alex here in that first half as he was coming up and down the near sideline. Now as they've switched sides, he's roaming the far side. Palma number eight. Backs up. Palma misses the header just barely. Number eight for Pacific Coast. Henry Kalichi was right behind him there, was able to get ahead on the ball, and finally as it goes out, it must have touched somebody on a white team as Pacific Coast will put into play. Alex with the header. Now Oscar Palma shadowing Gooden number nine. 
Let's see if the Patty Doors can keep the ball here on the right half of the field. Latona, number four, center pass. And number 11 for the Patty Doors. Gaines just can't control the ball. Now it comes into the backfield. Defense getting there. Brennan, number six, angles it here to the near side. And coming out of nowhere, just as he did in that first half. Number two, Luis Veras, and a strong leg sends it upfield. Gaines, number 11. This game starting out very much here in the second half as it did in the first half. Very slow to develop, quiet. Then it's like these two teams started gaining speed, gaining momentum, and they really went at it there after a while. And the same thing is happening here. Veras with that strong kick here in the near side seemed to spark the action here. And they really started to play. Now the ball in the middle. Again, we're going to those long passes. Latona down the middle. Ball stopped there by Pacific Coast. Palma number eight. Defers it to Latona as he had the angle toward the net. He'll take a shot to the goal, but on a bounce, Garcia will haul it in. Header off Latona. Brett Bill comes out. And Brett, the keeper, clears it up towards midfield. Palma, number eight. Alex, number 14 there. Keeper is out. They've got a nice opportunity, that shot towards the open net. And that's going to be wide as it rolls here to the near corner. That'll allow Garcia to get back in front. Ball still in play. And finally does go out here on the near side and will belong to the Patiadores squad. Gaines, number 11, just as he turned to make a move towards the net, he has the ball knocked away. It goes out. And it went out across the back line, so it's a corner kick for the Patiadores. And number two, Luis Veras will take the kick. He's already shown us a strong leg. Both squads in front of the net. Here's the kick. Bounces just in front. Gooden clears it right back to Veras. Veras, nice, and a pooch kick. Oh, he had Palma right in the middle. Just couldn't connect on it. He had an open shot. That would have been a score for Patty Doors right there. But that's a tough shot. Although he was in possession, the ball did bounce up to him. Veras again goes to the net. Number two right here is going to be a factor to watch here in the second half with that leg. And he's not afraid to take a shot. He's shown us that a couple of times here so far. So that ball goes out. And Garcia slowly trots it up to the line there, getting ready for the goal kick. And Garcia's kick angles over to the far side. It'll go out right at midfield. And it was last touched by Garcia. Nobody touched it. So it goes back the other way for the Patiadores. <laughs> Throw comes in. Now they want to move it into the middle. Palma, number eight, to Veras here on the near sideline. He looks. He's going to take a shot to the net high into the air. And Garcia goes up, catches it there with two hands. Bounces it on the ground, now comes out, and takes a kick well across midfield. Bounces deep into the backfield. Brett Bill there makes a stop as Pacific Coast didn't have anybody up there up front, and they were all bogged down on defense here on the other half. And now they've got some momentum there. Alex with a shot on goal. He had two other teammates, Palma and Gaines, there. He might have wanted to stop, maybe change direction going to the middle, but he took the shot. It was just wide. But I like the way this Patty Doris team has come out here in the second half. Very aggressive. And they're keeping the defense here at Pacific Coast very busy. Center pass taken away there by number four, Tyler Graham. De Dios, number 10 on the ground. Can't stop the ball, but his teammate Gooden does. Now Gooden stops just as he brings it across midfield changed direction didn't get him much of anywhere there cleared out the other way by the patiadores and pacific coast putting it in there near near midfield latona key tie number two has his upfield to his teammate daniel flores number five palma number eight waiting for it to come down 
Gaines, number 11, his shot to the net. Oh, just over that crossbar. About six inches too tall there. Kyle Gaines with the shot. Garcia set up the goal kick here. And let's see if the Patty Doors can continue the pressure here on the right half. Keep it on this side. We haven't seen much. Brett Bill has made a couple of stops here in the second half, but most of the action over here on this net. One being defended by the Pacific Coast squad. Gooden has it. It's going to go back. Garcia will get things started off. The keeper for Pacific Coast. Kick in the middle. Latona sends it into the backfield of Pacific Coast. Defenders, though, clear it back up towards midfield. White jerseys want to keep it here. They don't want him to bring it across midfield. Vedas here. Oh, we just can't get a foot on it. Upfield to De Dios, number 10. He battles with Latona. Vedas comes over to help out, and we will get a whistle. And Vedas, number two, is going to be called there. Ball still belongs to Pacific Coast. So the free kick for Gooden here, number nine, on the near side. Brett Bill in front of the net. Let Gooden go right at him. He does, keeps it low to the ground. Latona clears it once. Now coming across number three, Noah Dunn. And Brett, with a lot of enthusiasm, chases that ball down. Now across midfield, Palma watches it bounce. Now Palma's gonna run after it, high into the air. Number 14. Alex Selmeron. Alex stops, changes directions. Now he goes right through his legs. No call by the referee. They wanted a handball. Now it's centered. And he wanted it to go to number 11, Kyle Gaines. But the keeper, Garcia, right there, takes it away from him. Garcia instructed to get the play going. And it's Pacific Coast as they move down the far sideline, stopping, overrunning the ball, number eight. Henry Kalichi actually wanted to change direction there, overran it. Now he's going to come back, try to angle towards the net, but he's going to be pushed over to the far side. The ball's going to go out, and it still belongs to the blue team. So as that ball goes out, we'll reset here. There's no score here in the second half. And it's starting to warm up here in Temecula. Feels about 98 degrees. Feels like Phoenix. And now the glare from the sun on all the SUVs parked around this facility. I think everybody drove an SUV here today. Quite a few of them out there. Patty Adores will have the goal kick from the far side of the net. Nice, strong kick comes up towards midfield. Palma wanted to get there. He touches it. Latona makes sure it goes across midfield. Alex Salmeron, number 14, gets around the defender, gets towards the back line. And he had number 11 gains there. He was trying that center pass, but it goes right to the keeper, Garcia. De Dios with a push in the back. Latona caught by the referee. Penalty against Pacific Coast. Latona will start things off just beneath midfield there by about four or five yards. Ball again in the middle, in the circle now. Latona, number four. Vadas, number two, right where he needed to be, takes the ball away, overrun it. Kitai, number two, upfield to his teammate, number five, Daniel Flores. 
And that ball rolls towards the back line. Brennan and De Dios battling for control. Brennan comes out with it, tried to get it upfield to Vetas. It goes out off Pacific Coast. Luis with a nice throw, comes in. Gaines, number 11, gets a leg on it. In the middle now, Pacific Coast. Latona nearly took it away right there, but Pacific Coast gets by him. Again, De Flores, number five, over to Gooden. Gooden has his legs taken out. He slips, falls, taken away by Latona. Can Latona get around him? He does. Finally, a field into the circle. Palma, number eight, across midfield now. And Kitai gets back, stops the direction there of the Petty Doors momentarily until Gaines gets to the ball. Now Gaines goes back up. Center pass, nothing but blue jerseys right there in the middle. Gooden now. Ball deflected by Vedas, number two, into the backfield of the Petty Doors. Just white jerseys there. And it'll clear out over on the far sideline. Latona, ball bounces high into the air. Brennan now, Matt Brennan, number six. Decides not to go to his keeper. Instead, he'll get it from this angle. Not sure if it went out across the back line or just the side there. I believe it was just the side. So it'll be a throw in for Gooden. I know it did go across the back line. So it's a corner kick for Pacific Coast. Hard to tell, you got a couple of flags over there. And as the wind picks up, the kick comes in, and it'll go right off of Brett. And so we'll do it again. On Gooden's corner kick so far that we've seen here today, they've stayed relatively close to the ground. And so if the patio doors have recognized that, they should set their defense accordingly. Palma, number eight, clearing it out. Now here comes Alex. It's a foot race as he comes across midfield, gains number 11 was out in front, but the defense handled the ball. Coming back again, Palma. Nice pass here to the near side to Gaines 11. Here's a shot coming from behind. Kitai, number two, makes the block. So Kyle Gaines getting a shot on goal there. And substitutions now for the Patiadores. Oscar Palma will come out in number 12. Zach Espinola in. Stoppage in play by the referee as the ball is actually a goal kick, so we'll get started where we need to. Garcia here from the near side. Upfield, his teammate finds number six, Christian Palomares. De Dios now coming across midfield. He had number seven turn the wrong way, Daniel Vlessing, but Vlessing recovers, picks up the ball near the sideline, but it did go out. Side judge over there raised her flag, and ball belongs to the white squad, the Patiadores. And two substitutions for the Patiadores coming in. Number 15, Kendrick Wynn, and he'll replace number four. John Latona. Actually, John Latona being replaced by number nine, Zach Burns, and number three, Noah Dunn being replaced by Kendrick Wynn, number 15. So some quick legs now into the match for the Petiadores. Gooden, number nine, stops the ball, tries to pass it upfield. White jerseys in the way, though. Plugging up those passing lanes. Win nearly blocks it. Nice job of the last second there by Luis Veras, number two, not allowing Pacific Coast to take a shot on goal. Brett Bill was there, but he would have gone one on one right there with the striker, number six. Christian Palomares. But it will be a goal kick again. Gooden here from the near side this time. And both these teams out in front of the net. Kick low to the ground again and will roll outside or out across the back line. And so a goal kick for 
Patty Adores. Kick angled here to the near side. Kitai, number two, takes it. Now across midfield, Gaines, number 11. He's got a teammate following. Nine, Zach Burns. Gaines into the middle. Streaking towards it was Espinola. Couldn't get there. There was a keeper came out and got to the ball in time. And quickly, Espinola getting back to position right here at midfield, chasing the ball. Kendrick Wynn, number 15, gets between Pacific Coast player and the ball, but he'll lose it. Now Pacific Coast coming in towards the net. Shot on goal. Brett Bill with a nice deflection, and he's able to recover it. Great job of goalkeeping here today by Bill. Saved a couple of scores right there just in the second half alone. Espinola coming across. Number 12, right to Gooden. Gooden recovers. Upfield to De Dios. De Dios over to the far side. And taking one in the shin there, number seven, Daniel Vlessing. He gets up, limps just a bit. Now he runs to the ball. Gooden wants to move into the middle. Now he'll actually angle to the far corner. And that shot's going to go out across the back line. Last touch by the Patio Door, so it'll be a corner kick for Gooden again on the far side. Just about 12 minutes to go here in the second half. Gooden shot high into the air, and this time right into the hands of Brett Bill, the keeper. Burns, number nine, watches that one come down. Now moving across, Gaines. Veras, number two, off of Luis Veras. Tough break there for the Patiadores. Number two, Sam Kitai. Overhead, gets it into play. Back to Kitai, now he goes into the backfield with that kick. Brennan will just let his keeper take it. Cross midfield, Gaines. Nice little pass upfield, he had number 14 there. And Alex Salmaron really one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and the keeper Garcia will haul it in. Ball goes across midfield, win, number 15. Couldn't get to it, it goes out. Nice throw, and here comes Pacific Coast. But again, that Brennan with some nice defense coming from behind, taking the ball away. And then he turns and faces the midfield line and wanted to run upfield, but he'll run out of room on that far side. And actually had gone out before he made his turn, so it's a goal, a corner kick for the blue squad, Pacific Coast. Ball on the ground, now in the middle, comes out. Alex, number 14, Samarone wants it. Battling for it, another collision, another trip. No call by the referee. Number 11, Kyle Gaines. And as Gaines pushes it across midfield, he runs into, the ball runs into Sam Kitai and it's sent back the other way. Pacific Coast wanting to set something up in the middle. Cleared away though, Patty Adores. Now they run, Zach Burns, number nine. Has the ball taken away by Sam Kitai. Upfield number six, Palomares. Palomares with a center pass to De Dios. Can't handle it, cleared away by Brennan. Ho, oh, Sam wanted to run with that ball. Taken away by eight. Henry Kilici. Gooden, number nine. Gooden gets around one defender, now passes it into the middle to De Dios, 10. De Dios doesn't get too far with that kick, blocked. Now it comes back out towards midfield. Espinola running it down. Espinola trying to get to the ball, but he's got Gooden in front of him. And Daniel Vlessing will watch that go out off of him. Patty Adores, Espinola again, 12. Wanted to move into the middle, runs into trouble. De Dios takes a shot to the net. And again, into the hands of Brett Bill. Brett Bill been very busy here in the second half, and he's been on top of every single one. Go, Zach, go. Zach Burns here on the near side. He's got some room. He'll head to the back line. Now he wants to stop, center the ball. 
It's going to be cleared away by number four, Tyler Graham. Veras gets in the way, and his shot up towards the net is going to be wide. So another goal kick for Garcia. Just about eight minutes to go here, depending on when exactly the referee marked the beginning of the second half, anywhere between eight to ten minutes remaining here in this scoreless match. Kitai sends it up across midfield. Brennan, number six. Ball is going to be deflected now out here on the near side. And number two for the Patiador is Luis Veras with a throw in just over his teammate Burns. Kendrick Wynn, his header bouncing in the circle there across midfield, and Gooden came across and booted it out over the far sideline. Win to Espinola. Espinola pushed from behind. Gooden takes the ball away, but Espinola stays with him, doesn't let him get upfield. And just as that ball goes to win, it went out off Pacific Coast. And that whistle by the referee penalty going against the Petiodora squad. Actually, it was off Petiodora's out on the far side. Just throw in by Pacific Coast. Long center pass taken away by Veras, but they recover. De Dios can't get a shot. Too much defense there. Alex Salmaron battling. Gooden now in the middle. Espinola right on him. Win. Brennan shot deflected. And the keeper, Brett Bill, is able to take control of the ball. And now he'll clear it up across midfield. Sam Kitai, number two, stopping it at midfield. Gooden stops it, changes directions once, twice now. Moves over to the far side. And number eight. Henry Kalichi again comes away with the ball. He's got a knack for that. He gets to those balls that just kind of end up in no man's land where nobody is. Throw in. Kitai touches it. Now lets his teammate take it, Christian Palomares. Patty Adoras, can they come across midfield? Nice job there. Gaines with some nice position. Sam Kitai right behind him. Can Gaines get a center shot on time to Burns, number nine? Oh, the keeper comes out. David Garcia deflects it out. Coming across Gaines, recovers it. Again, he tries a center. Coming from behind, Burns does a good job deflecting the ball there. Sam Kitai again on the near side. Ball kept from going out. Again, Gaines with a center. Shot on goal. Oh, it's just wide there on the far side, number 14. Alex Salmaron, they had set that up perfectly. Alex right in the middle, his shot just wide of the net. Pacific Coast. Oh, and Pacific Coast dodges that final bullet right there. That's the whistle. And this match is going to end in a 0-0 tie. What a match, these two teams. Heck of a game. The Patty Adores and Pacific Coast Soccer Club put it all on the line. These guys coming off the field, huffing and puffing. They couldn't have done much more. And that final attempt there by Alex, just wide, that would have been the game winner in the final seconds. But instead, we're going to end in a tie. So for George Landry Productions, I'm Ken Gonzalez. Hoping you enjoyed this match. Until we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everybody.
All right, King and Josh, George Langevin Productions. We're here with Coach Mike Rubio of the Patty Doors, who just finished an awesome game that ended in a tie. Coach, what can you say about this game? I mean, uh, went down the wire. You had that last shot at the end there. We did. It was a close match, 0-0. The boys fought hard. I think uh, really hot out here today. They got a little, little tired. But I think both teams had some good chances in the game. And uh, unfortunate, couldn't get the win, but we got the tie. We got a point. Exactly. Now, uh, the other team, Pacific Coast, is that a team you guys are familiar with? Not familiar. First time we play them and uh, haven't seen them around. Yeah. Well, it was evenly matched, I guess, to say the least there. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why you see the 0 0. I mean, went back and forth. They had chances, we had chances. And I think both, both teams were a little bit tired out here in, in beautiful Temecula, the <laughs> desert. A little, little warm here. But uh, now, talking about your team coming in, you know, maybe a week before this tournament, preparing, you know, kids of this age to. You know, not really at this thing is, is so important, but then again, you got to get them up for it, you know, a state cup. So uh, what did you do during practices to help them with that? Well, all year long we've talked about state cup is our biggest tournament of the year. So they know when we come here that this will be it, last tournament of the year, and uh, we want to finish strong. We had an extra practice on Friday this week, and uh, nothing new. We just play and review what we've learned all year. Just play their game. Don't do anything different. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck the rest of the way, Thanks, and we hope you guys win. All right? Thank you. Good job. All right, we're back now with our post-game interviews. We just heard from the head coach. And now we've got the players with us to my left. They're going to introduce themselves or take a few questions, and you're going to get to know them. All right, guys, who are you? Kendrick Green. And what number and what positions do you play? 15, defense. Defense, okay. Zach Espinola, um, I, I'm number 12, and I play right, center forward, center mid, and left forward. Okay. Hi, I'm Matthew Brennan. I play sweeper, and my number is 6. All right, guys. Now, you just finished a pretty tough game. Was it pretty hot out there? Yeah. Yeah? Was this one of the toughest games you've ever played? Yeah. The guy that you were going up against, how would you kind of, was he a pretty good player, or do you think you had him beat? Mm, yeah. Pretty good guy? Yeah. Yeah, was he one of the better guys you've ever played against? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you remember his name? No. No? Did you ever know it? No. Do you remember his number? No. No? Don't really care, do you? All right. Now, this game, you were out there quite a bit in the middle. You were kind of getting involved. It was kind of physical. Was there a lot of pushing and shoving going on? Yeah. Yeah? Tell me about it. What was happening? Well, um, there was, like, a lot of pushing, and then there, were, there was, like, in, on the corner kicks, there was, like, a lot of shoving, kind of. Up in front of the net? Yeah. yeah but you guys were gaining some pretty good position, I think, there, right? Um, yeah. You guys did a pretty good job. Don't be afraid of the mic. Come on over this way. Getting, you guys are backing up on me. All right, there you go. Now I can ask you a question. All right, so this is a good game. We all know that. You guys practiced all week to come out here. Were you expecting to play a really tough team today? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you pretty much when you get into this kind of tournament, all the teams are pretty good, right? Yeah. Now, how long have you been playing on this team? Uh, just this year. Just this year. Were you playing rec leagues, or what, where did you come from? Uh, AYSL. AYSL. What was the name of that team that you were on? Uh, a bunch, a bunch of teams. Yeah. Now, is anybody on this team from that team also? Uh, no. No, so just you? All right. Have, how long have you been playing soccer? Uh, how many years? Three. About three years? So since you were pretty young, how about you? You look like you've been playing a long time. Um, about four years. About four years? Long. So, when you're not playing soccer, what are some of the things you like to do? Uh, okay. Any games you play? You play Xbox or baseball or anything? Yeah. Which one? Xbox? Yeah. What's your favorite game? Uh, I don't know. Do you have a name of a favorite game? No. No? Do you like to play sports games on it or what types of games? Uh, sports games. Sports games like baseball? Mm. Soccer? Soccer, yeah. Soccer, yeah. How about you? What do you like to do after school? Um, I usually play outside with my. I usually play outside with my friends, and then we usually have like a little soccer game, stuff like that. It's out in the, in the neighborhood there. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, just random games. Yeah. You play on the street. Yeah. You don't fall and scrape up your knees, do you? Mm, sometimes. sometimes. I know exactly. How about you? What do you like to do? Uh, play baseball and basketball. What positions do you play in baseball? Uh, shortstop. Shortstop, are you a pretty good hitter? Yeah. You can you hit a curveball? Yeah. Yeah, that's the hardest one to hit, so that's good. You're almost there. All right, before we go here, is there anybody at home you want to say hi to? Uh, Parents? No. No? Mom, Dad? 
Okay, mom. Mom, okay. Good job. How about you? Who do you want to say hi? Um, my mom and dad. Okay. Anybody else? No. no? All right. How about you? My brother. Little and brother. What's his name? Cole. Cole. Okay. Uh, my mom and my sister and my brothers. Okay. Are they gonna be watching this? Maybe. Maybe. You hope, right? Okay. Good job, guys. Hopefully, you'll come back, get a win. Why don't you give a nice smile, wave to the camera, and you're out of here. All right, here we go. We got three more players here to my left. Let's find out who they are. Hi, I'm Kyle. And what's your number and your positions? Um, I'm 11, and I play center forward. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Zach Burns, and I'm number nine, and I play right defender and right forward. Hi, I'm John Lettonen. My number's four, and I play sweeper in center mid. Okay. When you guys are practicing, like during the week, what's your most favorite drill that you do out there? Um, scrimmage. Scrimmage? No, no, like passing drills, stuff like that? No, I like scrimmage. Nobody likes it. Everybody likes scrimmage, don't they? So you play against your own teammates? Yeah. Yeah? You get to pick the teams? No. No? Who does that? The coach? Yeah. Yeah. Is it pretty even all the time? Um, yeah. Yeah? Sometimes, um, there's a guy on our team that's an extra player, and then Mike, and then our coach is on the other team. So the coach plays for one of the teams? Have you ever been on one of the scrimmage teams that your coach played on? Yeah. Did you pass a ball to him? Yeah. <laughs> Did he score? Yeah. Really? Is he as fast as you guys? No. Yeah. No, he's not? He's slower? No. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 He's, he's just slow. Shut up. Can he, uh, can he outrun you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Is he faster uh, than you? I'm the fastest person on the team. Maybe sometimes, but not all the time. Just when you let him? <laughs> so scrimmage, I guess you like scrimmages too? Wall passing. You like passing drills? What kind of drills do you do? Um, like wall passing and crosses. And, yeah, crossing, those are the fun ones, aren't they? Because they look the prettiest. Mm -hmm. In fact, you guys are doing some nice crosses in front of the net. And yeah, Alex was getting out there in the front. Now with the headband, how long have you been wearing that? Um, I don't know. Is it lucky? Is that yeah. why you wear it? Yeah. What do you wear it to keep all the sweat out of your eyes? Both. Both, but mostly for luck? Mm -hmm. What, did you like win the very first game you played with it? Yeah. Yeah, so you figured just keep it? Mm -hmm. Looks good. It's a good, good deal there. All right, so we know you guys play sports, do all that sort of stuff, but like, what are your favorite movies to watch, stuff like that? Um, like action movies, like The Terminator, War of the Worlds, and all that stuff. So you like Tom Cruise? Good actor? Yeah. War of the Worlds? All right, how about you? What do you like to do? Um, well, I, sometimes I like to ski, and, and, I'm, and I like to learn how to snowboard. I know how to snowboard. But... So do you know how to water ski also, or just snow ski? Um, I know how to water ski. Which is funner? Water skiing? Yeah. Yeah. You probably get to do it a lot more. Mm-hmm. So what else do you do? Anything else? Um, I play basketball and baseball. So you keep pretty busy. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. All right. Move. Four brothers and sisters, so. And now where do you fall? Are you the oldest, youngest, in the middle? Middle. You're in the middle. All right. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Good job. All right. What do you like to do? Um, I like to watch movies, like action movies. You like World of Worlds too? I haven't seen that movie yet. What's the last action movie you saw? Um, I forget. What's the last movie you saw? Um, seen anything on TV lately? Mm-hmm. Like what? Cartoons. Cartoons. Do you have a favorite TV show? Um, Ed and Eddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen that one. Do you like that show too? Um, kind of. Kind of? What were you going to say? It looked like you wanted to grab the mic there for a second. Um, I like the snowboard and, um, play baseball and stuff like that. Yeah? All right, well, you guys all play baseball, sports, watch movies. Pretty well-rounded group of guys here. All right, who do you want to say hi to who might be watching sometime? Hi, Mom, and hi, Dad. All right, anyone else? And I don't like you, Lindsay. <laughs> Who's that? That's my sister. Oh, she might beat you up. Yeah, she's in sixth grade. So she will beat you up. Sometimes I get really mad and get a temper and I beat her up. <laughs> Do you believe him? 
Yeah. You do? <laughs> All right, who do you want to see? I've seen him do it. You've seen him? You should have helped her out. I want to help her know? sister. <laughs> you sticking up for your buddy? All right, good job. Okay, who do you want to say hi to? Um, hi, Mom, and hi, Will. No. I don't like you, Will, or Marin. Who are they? My brothers and sisters. Are they mean to you or something? I like to tackle Will, and I like to bully Marin. <laughs> Will? <laughs> Sounds fun. All right, who do you want to say hi to? And you better not say you hate anybody. <laughs> um, my mom, and my dad, and my sisters, and my friends. And you're probably nice to your sister. Yeah. See, they're not. <laughs> yeah. Then your friends, you got a lot of friends? Yeah. Good job, guys. All right, big smile, wave. Congratulations on a good game. Be crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three more guys here. They're going to tell us everything about themselves. First, your name, number, and your position. Hi, I'm Oscar Palma. I'm number eight. I play right forward and center mid. Okay. I'm Alex Amaron. I play left forward, and I'm number 14. Okay. I'm Louis Ferris. I'm number two, and I play defense and le um, left forward. Pretty tough game. That first half, you guys were like running, running, running around. Then it got really tough in that second half. Was everyone kind of getting tired? I think so, yeah. Yeah? Were your legs feeling weak? Yeah. Yeah? Well, do you guys like during practice, practice running and, and being out there and conditioning and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. Like, what do you do? Scrimmage. Do you guys like run laps and stuff like that? Yeah, no. We just sprint. Sprint? You like doing that? No, not no, that much. No. It's not the funnest thing in the world. All right, Alex, we saw you out there all the time, especially in the second half over on the far side. Then towards the end of the game, there was that, that center pass. You had that shot. You only had like a split second to do anything. Do you remember what happened on that play? Nah, I don't remember. But How like, close was it? It was like, I don't know. Just a couple of feet away? Yeah. yeah. Did was, you think it was going to go in? Nah. No, you knew right when you hit it, it was wide? Yeah. yeah. But it's a pretty good game. You can't really complain about tie, can you? Yeah. I can't. Two tough teams? Yeah. Now, how many games have you played before this one today at the tournament? Uh, two. Two? And how'd you guys do? We did pretty good. Did you win them? Yeah. Oh, so you have two wins and a tie? No, yeah. we, no, won, we, we, we won. won one, we lost, and now we just tied. So you got one, one, and one? No, we, we won one, and then we lost one. And then you tied one? Yeah. So one win, one loss, one tie. Okay. All right, now we also know you have a really strong leg. Can you kick with the left leg? Are you left-handed, or did you just learn to kick with the left leg? Um, sometimes I just do it. I practice it sometimes in practice. Do yeah. you think you're stronger than on the right leg with the left? No. No? I didn't even see you use the right leg today. It's all left. <laughs> I think I'm better at the right than left. Better with the right? I think you were using the left just because of the angles you had today. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it was kind of fooling that team, too. Yeah. yeah that was pretty good. You had a good leg there. All right. We know you play sports, do all that stuff. And you can tell me sports, but like, what are some of your hobbies, things you like to do? Well, I like to play video games and my Game Boy. Which is like the hottest game right now? Yeah. Which, what's the name of it? The best one? I really can't tell. Really? You got a lot of fun, good ones? Yeah. Which is the one you play the most right now? Pokemon. Pokemon, that's a pretty good one. Do you like, you play video games too? Nah. I no? What do you do? I like playing basketball and soccer. Yeah, what position do you play in basketball? No, nah, I just like play with my. Just brother. go out with your brothers and shoot around, stuff like that. Do you what, do you play like the shooting games? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, horse stuff like that. Yeah, I play horse too with my brother. You are pretty good shooter. Yeah, kind of. Getting better. Yeah. Yeah, all right, that's pretty good. How about you? What do you do? I do sports and I like video games. All right, do you have a Game Boy too? Yeah. Yeah, you have a ton of games. Not that. Yeah. A little, yeah. Yeah. What's uh, your favorite game right now? Right now it's the same thing, Pokemon. Pokemon? How come that game's so cool right now? I don't know. Is it, is it hard? Yeah, I have a, one really came out on GameCube last year. Yeah? Pokemon. Do you watch the show? No. No? Just the game? Yeah. Just cause it, not because it's Pokemon, just because it's a good game? Yeah. Yeah? You watch the show, though? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. You watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie, too? Uh, no. A little, but no. No, just a little bit. Not big deal for you. All right. Okay. So we asked what you guys do, all that stuff. There's got to be people that might be watching this that you want to say hi to. Who do you want to say hi to? My mom, my dad, and my brother. Yeah, okay. Does that cover it? Okay. I, um, my dad, my mom, my brother, and my sister, and my dog. What's your dog's name? Terry. Terry? 
Is he a good dog or a bad dog? Yeah, good. Good dog. He behaves. He listens to you? Yeah. <laughs> good job. Okay, how about you? Who do you want to say hi to? I want to say hi to all my family, the people who are in, my, in different countries of like the world. What kind of countries are you? Um, some people live in the Dominican Republic, and we don't have family in like uh, our states. So you got to call them or mail and stuff like that? Yeah. You don't see them too much? No, not. Maybe you can send them one of these. Yeah. Pretty cool? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, get crazy. Nice wave and smile to the camera there. You guys are done. All right? All right, we got our final group of good guys here from the Patio Doors. They played their hearts out in this tough, tough match. Who do we have here? What's your name, number, and your position? Cole. Okay. What positions do you play? I don't know. Yeah, when you play soccer, you play some positions, don't you? No? You just cheer the team on? <laughs> Are you the mascot? So we heard, we heard you were the mascot. Don't they give you a suit, like an animal suit to wear? No. Do you want one? No. Even if they gave it to you, you wouldn't wear it? Mm -mm. What if you had to? What kind of animal suit would it be? Nothing. How about a gorilla? <laughs> or a lion? Nope. No? How about a Spider-Man? Nope. He's no fun, is he? But you're like the best fan of this team, right? Kind of. Kind of? Does he cheer a lot? Yeah. No. No? <laughs> but he shows up all the time? No, not really. He says he does. He thinks he does. Look at him. He's probably the funniest guy on the team. He's laughing so hard here. All right, we'll go ahead and introduce yourself. Noah, number three, left um, defender. Okay. Brett, number seven, uh, goalie. You always play goalie? Yeah. Did a good job today, actually. All right, tough game out there. Was this was that expected, or did you you guys didn't really know much about this team, did you? Mm, no. No. We never played them. So were you kind? Of, whenever you play a team you never played, are you always kind of cautious? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Did well, they? Did you guys play your game out there, or did they try to make you play a different style of game? We just kind of played our game. Yeah. Controlled the ball. Yeah, you guys, you did. You controlled it pretty good. Zero, zero tie. They're a tough team, though, right? Mm, yeah. Or like if you played them nine times out of ten, or ten times, how many times do you think you'd win? All of them. All ten, or nine out of ten? Or maybe win ten out of ten, or tie one? Maybe tie one. So you think, really, you guys should just beat them every time you play them? Yeah. yeah. Do you agree with that? You're much better than they are? Yeah. Yeah. How many saves did you make today? I couldn't even, I stopped counting. Like... 17. 17? That might be 17. It was a ton of them. So, you must do a pretty good job. How long have you been playing keeper? The whole year. But like before that, since you were little? or? No. No, you just started this year? Y yes. How'd you get so good so quick? Don't know. Don't know. You think you'll get better and better? Uh, I, I guess. Well, you probably will. You're pretty good now. How long have you been playing soccer? Since you were like three? Uh, I started at like five, five, six. I don't know. So you're playing like four years. Yeah. Like is this the best team you ever played on? What? Uh, yeah. Well, I did, this first year of club. So you're playing Rex. Yeah. Like AYSO. Yeah. Yeah. This is better, isn't it? Mm. You get to travel a lot. Yeah. yeah. Where are some of the places you've gone on tournaments? San Diego. Oh, you like it down there? Yeah. It's cooler than up here, isn't it? Yes. It's a lot nicer. All right, so when you're not playing soccer, what do you like to do? Baseball. What position do you play in baseball? Pitcher. Like, what about when you're like, you come from school, you got nothing to do, it's boring, what, what, do you, what do you find to do? What do you like to do? Homework. Do you have any dogs? Yeah. Do you mess around with the dogs? Yeah. yeah. What are their names? Lola and Rascal. They get along pretty good? Yeah. They don't give you any trouble? Nope. That's good. How about you? What do you like to do? Uh, I usually like, like to do my homework. That's math. Really? You like doing math homework? Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Never run anybody that likes doing that. Do you tell your teacher so she, they can give you more work? No. no. If you like it so much, you can do like triple the amount of homework. I usually go on the computer after it. <laughs> you play computer games? Or what? Uh, yeah. Like what? Sometimes I go to mini clip and play like 
some game called Motherload. Is it pretty fun? Not really. You know, but it's one of those games that you just get addicted for like hours. Yeah. And you don't even know why you're playing, and it's like, why am I playing this game? It's, there's like no point of it, but you just still play it. <laughs> you ever do that? Just keep doing something there's no point to? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Playing dumb games? Yeah. Like what? Wow, it's called World of, um, World of Warcraft. Have you played that? Yeah. Is it boring? Yeah. Yeah. Because you define lives. All right, say hi to who do you want to say hi to? At home, mom, dad? No. <laughs> Brother, sister? Nobody. Nobody? Okay. How about you? My dad. Your dad? All right. Anyone else? No. No. Okay. Uh, my brother. Your brother, what's his name? Derek. Is he older? Or older. How much? Older? Four years. Yeah. So he's like in his teen. Yeah. 13, 14. All right, you guys did a good job. Hopefully, you'll get a win on your next game. But until then, give a nice smile, big wave, get crazy to the camera. We'll see you later. Well, that'll wrap up this match here between the Patio Doors and the Pacific Coast Soccer Club. I'm Ken Gonzalez, George Langevin Productions. We saw a 0-0 tie. You couldn't have played any better soccer than that. These two teams just evenly matched. It was really exciting. Came down to the wire. They had a final shot the Patio Doors did, and it winded up just a little bit wide of that near post and out of bounds. So sometimes that's just the way it goes. Till then, be safe and have a great day, everybody.